there guys welcome back to my channel and this time I have a product a new product test that I broke to you using alphas for extractor so this time the product I'm going to test the thing here on this uh, personal project simply they are alphas that I have created for the extractor, extractor tool on ZBrush so Next up, I'll, I'll I'll click on extractor. Sorry for my back accent, of course, but um, I'll open extractor brush for sure, and you can see all the details above on the monsters, on the tentacles above the head, and you can compare how I created that things. I have. I use the standard brush to show up how different is to create that using other brushes but this time let's go back and clean this thing to show better what I want to do but first of all I want to create I created a square here I'll duplicate the square uh, turning on smooth for sure let's go and say nine millions or a little bit more than that the lower in I'll use clay build up let's go where is it okay clay build up and I'll do something really fast nothing to take too much time on and okay like this my pen tablet sure for sure and it's time to use extractor to show you up what I mean how I created those extractor alphas to make them work and how difficult it is because I'm clearly selling time here I'm selling a tool that saves your time so press G after you click on your extractor click and drag release and ZBrush is going to reload a new alpha a new alpha so we can apply that it's not doesn't look like like the real texture because I was a little bit um, fast back in that but that's the science how I have created that for um, for the product so up here let's go and let's try move around a little bit I highlight that object to check out the look of it and I did an extraction here same like last time it's going to take more way more because I mean ZBrush tries to project that map and create an alpha why I did that or why I do that because again I created all of this uh, alphas by hand a lot of time after so many projects after so many works and jobs I have I did a reco re, uh, recopilation recompilation a compilation sorry a compilation of all of the um, um, textures I have around that I have created by hand especially in the jewelry industry I have been working there a lot this last um, three to four months in recovering all of that handwork with um, G with G uh, with the extractor extractor tool I got 35 very well done alphas but that's not all because also I edit those alphas on um, on Krita that's a free that's an open source software that works really great so I got the alpha but now I'm going to load my alphas my own alpha is time to load them and try them let's go back open that show you up how I clean the rest of the uh, texture on Krita cancel it I don't need that and you can see that it gives you a 2d map but now that we are here in Krita I'm going to try to draw over it and also use a couple of filters so let's see 
Okay, Gaussian blur. And I blur a little bit all the things to get rid of that jaggy or, or, or really bad resolution area to clean that and get more quality alphas. And if I need to draw something new, let's see, this is a huge brush. Okay, if I need to draw something new, I do that with the new brushes. So it's no time for Krita, it's time for ZBrush. So let's go back now. I'm going to load or I already load all of the alphas. Hold Alt, hold the Alt key on the alpha window and click on that and we'll make appear the um the alpha palettes on your right but i'm just right now looking up for my my my, my folder all of this list of folders is from all of my products i have done so far so here it is i'll hold in shift i will select all of them to down open and i got that so af as i was talking Hold Alt and click on the alpha palette down from the stroke or brush palette up there. Click on that and you will make appear your alpha at your right. So now you can see how I have selected one of the alphas and works incredible great. Works really great. Save a lot of time, of course. Save tons of time doing texture. You can do this extractor um, alphas without any problem, but you will need to spend time creating that texture from zero. But I got th a certified texture created from zero that I scan with my extract extractor tool and apply them here. Cracks works beautiful. And you can see how I have created that texture above the head of the monster let's do this crack here it looks really great even you can increase the size and increasing the size you get a little bit more of 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 that good looking of the texture okay clean and create this texture here again hold alt click and make appear the palette to your right and that's way more easy to use your stuff. So I'll keep moving, creating more texture using the rest of the alphas. But let's talk about using uh, a standard brush. Okay, you can say to me, hey, no, I'll use a standard brush extractor. I don't believe that. But if you use a standard brush and you do the same like extractor, nothing will happen. What extractor do from ZBrush is that they create, they build the path, and they create also the alpha and the transparency from the from the tip uh, from the beginning to the end of the texture. So that gives you the opportunity to create that whole new texture, high quality texture from zero, just um, clicking and holding your click and creating that. The the um, the pattern can repeat but for that reason i have created more than one alpha and you can play it with that so let's keep creating more stuff here using other textures and i hope you will like this thank you for spending your time here on this new product review i hope again i really hope you like it leave your feedback feel free to do that of course and till next time Remember, go go down to my description, check out Chatbot Lee, and have if you feel lonely, if you have problems, go there and talk. There is always hope in darkness. Take care, guys. Hope to see you in the next tutorial. Thanks for your time and enjoy the product. Bye bye.